Okay, it's starting. Okay, so I will I will start with uh, some short introduction. So welcome everyone uh, who made it here and also welcome everyone who is uh, watching from uh, YouTube stream. Uh, we have Saturday, uh, it's the last day of, uh, our, of Uroboros Festival, but still full of uh, workshops and events. So I hope you will enjoy it. Uh, I'm here with Katarina Balažikova, uh, who is a graphic designer based in Bratislava, Slovakia. Uh, her research is focused on critical practice in graphic design and visual communication. She's uh, also teaching her own uh, course uh, called Critique, uh, Critical Practice in Graphic Design at the Department of Visual Communication uh, at Academy of Fine Arts and Design in Bratislava. And this course focuses on uh, supporting and development of critical projects uh, of students uh, that uh, should, be, should learn how to reflect a social uh, environment. Uh, she also finished her doctoral degree in visual communication at uh, the same uh, academy. She is a co-founder of Open Design Network, a network of graphic designers, freelancers who design, invent and collaborate together on this open platform. She is also a co-founder of a non-governmental -gover organization, Open Design Studio. Uh, and this organization addresses critical topics in regard to visual communication tools and pressing issues from diverse social and political aspects. Um, and they are organizing workshops, exhibitions, lectures, talks, or individual projects. Katarina is also initiator and founder of Critical Daily Magazine. Uh, it's an online magazine uh, about critical design practice. And you can find this magazine on critical design, uh, criticaldaily.org website. And I think, uh, I will just give the give the mic to Katarina now, and uh, that, uh, she has uh, some introduction ready, and I will be sharing some links uh, with you in the in the chat. So, okay, so yes. welcome everyone who joined our workshop today, and um, Lenka already introduced me quite perfectly. <laughs> There's not much to say uh, more except um, that my background started. I started doing graphic design a long time ago, but critical practice like around six, seven, eight years ago. I'm not sure now. Uh, so I, I have a lot of practice behind me. After that, I decided to study doctoral studies because I really like the topic practice. And I think it's quite interesting area in graphic design. It should be uh, researched, especially in Central, Central Europe. We don't have much information about it. I would say I'm the only one who is researching that kind of uh, marginal area of graphic design profession. Um, that's why, that's the also reason why I actually launched this magazine, Critical Daily, that Lenka mentioned, uh, because I felt like there's need for such a platform when, where designers could um, post their own critical projects or learn more about someone else's critical projects or just uh, research, browse and see visual, what, what the graphic designers visually reflect, what kind of topics they're interested in. And also it's a kind of platform for archiving the history of critical practice in graphic design, which I researched many years, like around five years I was dealing with this kind of research. So um, I would maybe uh, ask you from the beginning uh, if you ever heard about critical practice in graphic design. Maybe Nadia, can you, do you have any experience with it or have you ever heard about this kind of? Uh, um, I mean, question? I have heard about it, yes, of course. Um, I think it's just generally critical design practice and what, and uh, it is more around, of course, research and um, different aspects of what is happening in society of why and how through design uh, we can portray some things or bring attention, awareness uh, to certain uh, problems in our society or like um, important topics, so to say. Have you, have, you, have you heard about it in school or? more in your practice or uh, I think it's from the, <laughs> I think it's from uh, personal curiosity more uh -huh. 
Uh, so just being observative because I study trend research and concept development. Uh, so for me, generally, it is very important to be aware of all kinds of practices that are happening and what is happening generally in society and what people are, uh, mm -hmm. so to say, um, putting more attention to. Okay, and Jeff, have you ever heard about critical practice in graphic design? Not product design, but graphic design, but never mind, you can talk also about product design, critical practice in product design. Mm -hmm. It's similar. Maybe I have um, know something uh, familiar in China, but I don't know this. Uh, uh, what, what what called this one? But they are familiar with each other. Okay, I will just briefly show you the uh, the website Critical Daily. Can I start screen share now? Uh, just quickly, I'll show you the Critical Daily website. It's a, it's a place where actually the results of this workshop will be posted after. So if we do something <laughs> during this workshop, we can uh, make an article about it and post it here or two. If we are, we, if you are two participants, you can make your own post or we will do one, one together, one, one post together. So, and, and you can you can have a look at on this web page uh, after the workshop. Of course, you can open infos about projects here. Browse, filter, um, learn more about what is critical practice. In my point of view, what I researched in my during these five years, six, seven. <laughs> um, you can add projects here. Um, you can add just messages or only issues if you are interested just in adding uh, text, not 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 uh, real projects. Uh, okay, so now I will go to my presentation quickly. So we. So we start. presentation can you see the presentation no i, I see know. the the critical daily website still yes. uh-huh i changed the okay. uh, i changed it already maybe we need some more time maybe turn off uh, your share screen and then turn it on again uh -huh. just a second Yes, now I. Oops. <laughs> okay. I accidentally deleted it again. I have to do it again. Sorry. Yes. Design your message. Okay. So uh, the workshop is called Design Your Message. So we'll design our messages. <laughs> it's quite interesting, quite easy. Um, uh, so I will just go briefly uh, through this through this intro. So I, we define the main goal, what we are going to do. So it was already in the in the description of the workshop that we will visualize our thoughts, our, our ideas about it, these times where of uh, of coronavirus or these these times uh, of health threats. In social isolation, everyone uh, has experience with it. It's, it's, it's worldwide. It's quite interesting um, time actually now to, to reflect and interesting situation. Uh, there's also like this paranoia of meeting people and what's going to happen and, and etc. And so I, I thought it would be interesting to reflect this, I, this, this uh, topic or this issue, the situation with using of medium that is typical for this time, which is protective mask. That is covering our mouth. And our mouth is uh, uh, one of the tools for the ver verbal communication. Why I'm saying this is because um, mostly designers, I will go later, I will talk later about it. Designers mostly use if they don't, if they want to reflect or 
reflect some issues or if they want to talk about something, they usually uh, use verbal communication. So they talk about it or they attend some protests or they don't use actually, this came from my research. Um, they uh, don't usually use forms of visual communication or graphic design, which is, I think, a pity because it's a great uh, medium to, to visually talk, visually express our ideas, our, our thoughts, our messages. Um, so what we're go going to do is from the beginning, we will talk about the issues that you are interested in uh, during this time of crisis, this uh, corona crisis. So you will talk about your issues, we, will, we can discuss what you are interested in, then you will actually build your own message, what you would like to say visually with the mask. And then, of, of, of course, we have to define the target group. So target group will be people who you want, want to address your uh, message that will be visualized, of course. Medium I, uh, is the mask, is the protective mask. And at the end of the workshop, we will um, we will try to you will try to design your the visual form. What you will put on your mask? What kind of image or text or what will be the visual form of your message? And this is these three uh, phases are actually for like homework <laughs> after the workshop. Uh, we should actually I will explain you how to prototype your mask quickly at home. Do it yours, how you can do it yourself, this kind of mask at home. So just with using of mask and the using of um, um, how you can print it, how you can print your image or your visual message on your mask at home, for example. And then you, uh, it will be good if you would go to the action, actually, with your mask. You, if you go and, visual, and communicate your message to your target audience and document it. So we have some kind of material also to write the article for the Critical Daily. So these are three parts that you would actually do. I, I hope that this workshop will be interesting for you and you will continue after that with like finishing the project at home because we don't have time here. Two hours is not so much to, to finish the whole thing. So first, um, I want to share with you a little bit of context. Uh, so you should know why we are doing this, why we are de dealing with the topic. Um, so I, I already mentioned that historically graphic designers used to raise their voice mostly verbally uh, instead of using design, which is uh, the reason why I decided to, to make this workshop and to show you that it's quite nice and interesting to use the visual, uh, visual language to tell something to the graphic design to, to uh, tell your thoughts visually. The reason why this happened, uh, in my research, I, um, uh, I read and I heard little different kinds of reasons why uh, this, ha this happened historically, but the most of the researchers, theor theorists, design theorists, or graphic designers said that it was due to the modern design theories and traditional concepts of the definition of design profession, which was like Bauhaus international style, et cetera, et cetera that uh, actually told, uh, taught us that to be neutral. All these theories um, historically uh, were saying that graphic designers should be neutral, should communicate objectively, shouldn't involve in the content that is uh, like uh, visualizing. So that was the reason. So designers were pushed into neutral roles historically for so many years. So it's quite difficult now, especially in Central Europe to, to understand why graphic designer could be or should be also critical to the content that is visualizing or should um, reflect um, worlds lives in, in general. But so the situation is change, has changed now. It's also like, um, the result of my research that while I was uh, uh, researching design studies and media theories during my research, uh, they all, uh, both these, these design studies and media theories said that the position of graphic designer has rapidly changed last years. Uh, 
And it's because um, media theorists say uh, the medium is the message. And this is the base that I was, I took from, from, from this research. And I, I tried to think about it more like, what does it mean in, in, in terms of in, in graphic design for the graphic design profession? So the, these theorists think that medium is the message and design is the medium of course as well. And therefore they all think this uh, th theoreticians of uh, design studies, the design is actually can be also a message. So that's the reason why design cannot be neutral. So um, design is the message is like the also, I would say basic argument why um, critical practice actually, I think became a part of profession or graphic designer. It's not art. We don't, don't think uh, anymore about, uh, we don't think that graphic designers who, who are doing criti critical practice are artists. We now today think and can say that uh, these who do the critical practice are graphic designers and it's a part of their profession. So um, this design is the message is the base for some kind of, let's say definition of critical practice, which could be practice. When graphic designers use these forms of graphic design to reflect or visual express themselves and reflect messages, thoughts and reflections with forms of graphic design. Some some designers or, or researchers or theoreticians um, use expressions like visual journalism instead of critical practice. There are so many names how to how to how to uh, define or how to how how to name how to call critical practice uh, like visual journalism. Like Jan van Thorn was great um, Dutch designer. Uh, that actually started talking talking about critical practice in graphic design, uh, also in his books. Uh, he was also thinking that this kind of critical practice is some kind of reflective design, which is reflecting. So he was using these uh, expressions instead of critical practice. And then also we can call it activistic design, political design. So there are a lot of, lot of uh, different uh, expressions for that. So we will now start, um, we can now start, it was just uh, the intro, introduction and the context behind the workshop. Now I would start with uh, you, with the, for, I, I would now start uh, doing actually something um, specific with you. We can now call, go to the workshop back and start thinking about the issues Maybe I will now, um, I will just show you these questions. Uh, what we can discuss now, like, first we have to define the issue that we are interested in. So, so coronavirus and the situation is really like umbrella idea, umbrella issue. And now we can uh, pick one more specific, uh, both of you, uh, and we can discuss it. Like, what do you speculate about these, these days? during this Corona crisis. What are you wor worried about? What do you like and dislike? So can you tell us? I will now I'll give the word to you and maybe you could tell us what you think about the situation. What kind of issue you would choose for visualizing something on your mask? Hello. <laughs> if you want, I can I can start. I can also join. <laughs> like what you? Yes, Lenka, you can start. Yeah. Okay. So I was just now quickly thinking what I would like to play or, or communicate. I, uh, and I'm worried about uh, how people are now at the moment uh, dividing into groups. Um, one group is of. Uh, uh, still very concerned about coronavirus and and a bit more cautious and like those people would still like to keep the social distancing and wear face masks and you know being, just being uh, careful 
And then there's this other group who is already impatient because it's nice weather outside and they really have the need to socialize. So uh, those are uh, the people who don't wear masks anymore and they start going to uh, pubs and, and uh, restaurants and so on. And I started noticing uh, a passive uh, aggression on the streets in between these two groups because uh, the, 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 the group that is more uh, concerned, uh, who, those people who are still a bit more afraid, are, are, are feeling uh, insecure on the streets when there are those other guys passing by and not being very uh, tolerant about their environment. And then them, again, are I noticed uh, situations when they started mocking other people for wearing face masks and just making fun of them because like, yeah, you are still wearing the mask and you, you think you're something better than us. And, you know, so, so it's this very strange dynamic that I uh, start noticing on the streets and it's uh, still very hard for me to uh, kind of give it a name, <laughs> but maybe that's for me something that I would like to address uh, with this. Uh, okay, you need to unmute yourself, Katya. So this is this would be your issue, and uh, from out of this issue, you would actually create now during this workshop the message in one sentence. But we will go go to that phases first. Nadia and Jeff, can you tell us what 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 are your ideas about this time? What's your what do you like? What do you are worried about? What what would you choose? Uh, okay, I will try to. Uh, make it clear um, with my not so good English. Uh, yes, and what I worry about is in the, in the situation in China, maybe if I, don't go, if I don't go to Germany and study here, I will finish my university in this year. And, but because of the Corona-19 virus in this situation, my classmates in China, they finished the uh, university, they can't uh, find the job. It's, it's a very big uh, number of those students, maybe uh, five millions or more in this situation because so many uh, films uh, uh, have economic damage yeah, in this situation. How can those people uh, Make their life. Yeah, this, this. You no, know, I what I'm worried about. Okay, so maybe from this point we can uh, go to this uh, Google document, this Google sheet. So we'll just put our ideas. And Nadia, uh, sorry, Nadia, you didn't tell us. Sure, I I have a couple of because first of all, in the Netherlands, for instance, you don't uh, have to uh, wear the mask. Uh, like it's not mandatory at this uh, point. So it's very interesting to see that there's actually only a few people who do that. Mm -hmm. But actually what is very interesting for me and because I did a little bit also research about it is the communication aspect when the masks are actually um, mandatory to wear. Because as said, like mouth is showing a lot of our emotions. And there's even already like research on the clues of, for instance, that how do children right now learn emotions when half of the time on the outside they see people with masks? So a lot of it like a smile or a frown or some kind of doubt, you cannot actually see it. Uh, and, and also with, with people when you're around, and I feel like this is why there's also this aspect that a lot of people are wearing the masks just under their chin or in wrong ways that are actually not saving them or saving somebody else. So my question is more of how could it be solved in this way of that the mask could communicate something while we're still uh, wearing it and solve a little bit of the problem of that we don't know for sure how the person is feeling because you can't see it that much from the eyes. Wait, I'm Katarina, you're stop. unmuted again. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I have quite a lot of also images we will, I will show you later uh, with this kind of faces and printed smiles on them and showing in uh, emotions. Uh, 
But now, if in this, in the now we have your issues. We we now know what you would actually would like to reflect. This is just an issue. You still don't have the message. You have the message you have to actually create now in this point. And can you can you in in the chat window you will see link uh, Lenka shared with you the link for the Google Drive. Are you using Google Drive? Can you enter? The shared folder, can you open it? It seems so. I can here do that. Design your message with the inputs, outputs, and I can see all of the files as well. Yeah. So there is also this sheet um, called Design Your Message uh, Workflow. Mm -hmm. And now we'll try together. Uh, to type there, everyone, all of us, like participants, our, or you, <laughs> I will just uh, manage you and help you uh, to express your issue there in the in the sheet. Just try to write there what's Jeff. Can you can you enter? Can you see the document? Yeah, I see a document. Yeah, it's a sheet. It's a Google sheet. Uh, With the table. A, yeah. It, Design your message. There is a yeah. formula. I don't know. Yeah. So, if you allow me, I will just put your names there. Okay. And also yours. Yeah, I will see you. Lenka, do you want to participate as well? Yes. So I put there your names. Can you see that? Yeah, I see it. Yes. Concept, Nadia, Lenka. So the first line is the issue. So now we will just try quickly to 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 type there your issue like everyone all of you just right there now at this point uh -huh. just the umbrella issue like lenka is the difference between those who wear and don't wear masks try to define it what's the issue okay not I, the, not the message still but just the issue what you just said now mm -hmm. I, I think for me, it's only view only right now, so I can't... I have the same issue. <laughs> I, my issue is that I cannot uh, edit your uh, uh -huh. spreadsheet. Yeah, you have to just change the permissions. Oh, I have to. Yes. And that maybe, I'm not sure, maybe it will generate a new link. So then just copy the link again and uh, yeah. here in the chat, maybe. This one. Oops, uh, to everyone. Okay. Still uh, view only. Mm -hmm. Maybe I need your emails to make it. Uh, no, no, no. Just when you press. Uh, hmm, but it says anyone with the link can access. But where you're um, giving the send uh, when you're getting the link. There are more options and you can change uh, whether it's only view or comment or edit. Mm -hmm. And you need to uh, choose edit. Uh, otherwise, it will not work. Yeah. Yeah. Do you see it there? Maybe, maybe now it's done. Okay, let's see. No, now it's comment only. Ah, uh -huh, okay. And the, the third option. Third option, okay, I see that. It's in Slovak, I'm confused now because I... Ah, <laughs> it's, okay. It looks different than before. Um, okay. So... Is it working? Is, Yes, should. I think now huh? it's working. I see, Lenka, you are typing. Okay, cool. Yes, oh. it's working. Okay, cool. <laughs> it's sometimes good to type it, uh, really mm. put it in words, 
not just think about the issues and messages. And that's my, my experience with the students I teach also, that until they don't write the message or the issue, they will be confused and they will just flow around and will not um, focus on this specific issue. Also, do, which will, this typing and putting in words will help us later with the visual, visualization of the message. If you get lost, you can still go back to the sentence you wrote and, and etc. Et so it's, that's why I did this sheet. <laughs> so we can put it in words together. I still can't uh, write my, uh, my issues there. Uh, is, is, uh, yeah. Maybe can, we need to you... refresh. Ah, oh, maybe I try. Um, also, I, maybe it's because. Oh, uh, yes. It works. Uh, it need to isolate something. Also, sometimes it doesn't work if uh, someone has that oh. cell selected some someone other. But. Okay, I'm not... I just see Nadia's people can properly properly communicate when wearing the mask. Mm -hmm. I can see this only. Just issue. Mm -hmm. Understanding social becomes more difficult. Mm -hmm. So when we define issues, we usually put it in more sentences. It's not still so clear what we want to say. It's just the issue, it's just the topic. And why we are doing this is so we see this issue and we will try after that to create the message actually. Polarization mm -hmm. of the society would like, I am just, uh, reading what Lenka uh, wrote, Polar polarization of the society into op op opposing groups, those who are still concerned about coronavirus and those who are not. Rising passive aggression between these two groups in the streets, lack of solidarity. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe Lukash or, or Kati, one of you could share the screen, so also- I'm just doing it now. Mm -hmm. okay. So also YouTube uh, guys can see, nice, okay. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. So now yes. should we mm -hmm. uh, create the message. Now we created issues, not just, it's not still not the message, it's just yeah. the issue, uh, what we are interested in, what kind of topic we are interested in and what kind of topic we would like to uh, communicate, but we still don't have the message. Now, um, we'll create the message and we have to ask ourselves, do you see the, uh, the presentation again now? Yes. So now ask, we, we should ask ourselves, what is my issue? What I want to say in one sentence? So we have the issues and now we'll try to put it in one sentence. What the just the message, not the issue in general. Like, um, the sentence could be like, like a headline. You can imagine like the, the message is one sentence, the short message, short headline that is communicating straight away, like what you want to say in one sentence. That's I difficult. <laughs> Well, it's very difficult, yes. I have, a yes. I have a question. Uh, can, does this message have to be only verbal or can we use also some symbols, for example, like visual symbols or icons? This should be, uh, for these phases, it should be, for now, it should be verbal, so it's sentence. Okay. And Later on, we will create the visual representation of the sentence. Oh, okay. Actually, this would this will be 
the message will be visualized <laughs> with, with the help of graphic design on the mask. So just imagine from this issue, you have to create now the message that you will visualize, but first uh, in, on this, in this stage, at this stage, just quickly create a sentence. Like, I think that blah, 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 dot. Your, um, your message. <laughs> what do you think? This is really what you think about the message, about the issue. It's not definition of the issue. You already did that in the first line. Now, this will be your thought put in one sentence. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like Nadia. Um, okay. Help me help you and this way we help each other. Mm -hmm. This is how should the message look like? Yes, it's a one sentence. It's quite clearly said what you think. So this sentence you will now try to visualize. First, you will also try to uh, look for a target audience. Who would be the people you would like to address this message? So, but we will uh, wait for Jeff and Lenka also. Just a second. How particular do we need to define the target group though? Is it like, should we say like age and like maybe like yeah. a certain lifestyle or, or more general? In general, the bigger group, the more complications. So with my, okay. my um, uh, experience uh, that the defining a smaller group, it's much easier and also for now, the workshop is quite uh, <laughs> quick, quite, quite short, yes. <laughs> find a smaller group, of course. It will be also help you with the, the implementation when you go with your mask to this group and you will uh, communicate it directly for this group. It will make you, this implementation, it will make it more easier to implement the project after that. So I'm just sharing now the, the part from the presentation well, with the sentences uh, about like uh, about with uh, with um, questions about the target group like who do I want to address my message what communication codes does my target group prefer when you think about your target target group just try to think also about what communication codes they use younger people, older people, I don't know what the target audience would be for your message. Depends on the target group you choose, of course, what kind of codes they, they use. Okay, so I see most all of you, you already put your messages. So Jeff, Difficulties will pass and courage to face life. Mm -hmm. um, so you think difficulties will pass and will still, we should have courage to face life? Yes, <laughs> this is what I mean. We should have courage. Uh, like this? Yes, yes, thank you. Okay. Okay. And Lenka, we are one. We are part of the same ecosystem. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm still kind of finding the, the right words for it, but mm -hmm. I think that's the that's the message that should be there that I would mm -hmm. like to communicate to these other guys <laughs> who are. Uh, and also defining the the target group, so it's it's the group of people who are not uh, conforming to uh, to the measures anymore. Okay. Like we're in this together. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So now just try to define your.
target group and put it also there. Uh -huh. Milenka, you are defining a group as a group of people who are impatient. Yeah, so it's a large group, but uh, it, that mm -hmm. it's not limited by age or, or any kind of factor like that. It's just really the, the this one. Mm, maybe, yeah, it's maybe it's still quite wide. Mm -hmm. mm. Maybe uh, I, what I think uh, people who are impatient uh, are the youngsters, maybe just younger generation. No, but actually, I mm, I have different uh, group of people in mind. It's huh? those who who really who go out and just get, get gather together with others, uh, drinking beer and. Like I said it's mostly youngsters, younger. No, no I see like uh, older people, like 45, 55. Mm -hmm. uh, it was also interesting in the older people because some are like, yeah, well, I'm going to die soon anyway, so I might yeah. as well just get together with my homies. <laughs> like, and then anyway. I'm because, yes. like, yeah, I, I've lived a full life and yeah, it's also, so, so really the age is not uh, the, the not mm -hmm. Maybe I can uh, make the target group like define it uh, closer when I focus on on those who who like the first day once the the pubs were open <laughs> had it uh, to the, to the, the pubs and were already like standing there in in, in large groups. Mm -hmm. So, but I don't know. Like, I don't want to limit them to beer drinkers because that's not fair. <laughs> I also like beer, and I'm not doing that. So, I don't know. Mm. More extrovert people. <laughs> Introverts don't usually care so much if, mm. or people with families, or maybe maybe people who are maybe not singles but still don't have families, kids, and stuff. It's my my um, impression. It's my uh, it's what I think. You think it's an assumption. Uh more people who are single or without family. I, I see. They miss more the socialization and going out and having drinks and they are more used to um, live, have this kind of freedom. I have kids and uh, family. I have to learn with my uh, daughter quite a lot during the day. And I have quite a lot of socialization with my kids. I don't really miss socializing with <laughs> people in general now so I don't really have a problem like I wouldn't be in the line in front of the pub lounge yeah, but I drink. also witnessed uh, families like whole families doing this uh, mm -hmm. not tolerant like ma manifesting this not not really tolerant behavior yeah. it's like two let's say two two families who are uh, who know each other meeting somewhere outside and, and behaving this way so yeah maybe I maybe I come back to it yeah, maybe. I mean, it's not so easy to, to specify, really, really specify the target group oh. at the beginning of defining these things, what we are doing now. Maybe we'll come to it later while, while mm. like, thinking about the visual, visual part of the project. Okay, um, am I sharing? Yes, I'm sharing my desktop now. So, oops. So now, uh, the medium, yeah, the medium is the mask. That's clear for everyone. I chose the, this kind of medium for this workshop just to make it easier for us so we don't, we don't have to think about like what where we would put our message visually and stuff so so the mask is our medium. Just now we should try to think about the mask as a medium. When do we use it? During which situations? It's different like like you said oh, Nadia most people there where you live in Netherlands they don't use masks right yeah so just we'll just now think about uh, how we use the mask in your uh, environments and uh, what color of the mask is suitable maybe for your message is, if, is it white is it black is it i mean i chose uh, black and white 
so it's easier for us and it's more uh, so the output of, of this workshop will look more similar and it's more coherent um, but just now try to think about these things maybe tell us like what do we think uh, how people use masks i think right now it's mostly that um like public transportation i see that people really do um i see it though from uh from other people because i myself i cycle mm -hmm. um and yeah grocery stores uh, because I feel like these are the main places where right now everybody goes because, of course, a lot of places are closed. Like, sh like slowly some things are opening up, like hairdressers and like smaller places. Uh, so, yeah. So that is also actually where sometimes quite a lot of social interactions do happen, like with, uh, with uh, like grocery stores, for instance, if you need to ask some questions, someone if you can find a product or something, or in the public transportation. And Jeff, can you tell us how the situation in, I don't know, Germany, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, in Germany, it's also people um, wear the mask uh, in the public transportation and like the supermarket because the situation is similar with 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 other country i think yeah so normally on streets people don't wear it just when where they when when they face other people when they are in bigger groups or in uh, interiors inside uh, mm -hmm. not all people wear the mask but uh also, the most, the most old people and the old people are often wear the mask, but the young people um, maybe not so, uh, so not, uh, not, don't want to wear the mask. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so this actually uh, would maybe help you to find the right place where to communicate after the workshop, the visual on your mask. <laughs> That's why I like thinking about the masks and uh, the, the medium. Uh, I have chosen actually two, um, two uh, kinds of masks. This one is a cotton mask uh, we will use now during the workshop or this one, which is folded. Both of them are from cotton and you can really like buy it or I don't know, is it a problem for you to, to get this kind of mask? After uh, the workshop? Yes, I have the white one, uh, but not the same, but it's similar. Mm -hmm. I think I can choose it, yeah. These are just basic kinds, like yeah. unfolded, this one is more ergonomic. Yeah. Uh, more elastic and this one is folded and more like surgical mask. Uh, I have this one. This, why, I'm sh why I'm showing this, I chose these two types because this one, the second one as a medium is interesting when you open it, something mm -hmm. appears which is not there when you don't wear it or you can play with this kind of medium differently than with that one which is still in the same form, it doesn't change the form while you are wearing it. This one, which is folded, it's changing its shape while you are wearing. It. So, I saw different images of people who like put their like smile, and when it opened it, when when they put it on on their nose and chin, uh, the mouth opened. Let's say, mm. show they showed their teeth or something. So the image that was printed on the mask was changing. Um, while they were wearing it, <laughs> and you do not, you know what I mean? Yes, yeah, that's cool. So, so let's think about these two kinds of masks. We don't have to think about other ones because we don't have so much time. So just we'll use these two kinds of. You can choose one or the second. These two two kinds, one or the second one. 
And now on, we will uh, con uh, continue with uh, the, the most important part of this workshop. Now uh, we will try to visualize the message that you, that you uh, defined on your mark. So now we'll try to think about like, uh, for your message, specific message, will text, to, text will be enough to communicate it or what kind of text it would be, how it would look like, or you would need more image, symbol or photo to represent your message. So just try to think now, you see you have your messages and try to think about the visual part, the visual code, what you would use to visualize your message. I think I will definitely use more, uh, like maybe some image or a, a symbol, mm -hmm. not just words. I think I will use uh, words and with photos, which seems like very positive and can encourage someone or give one the feeling of very motivated. Yeah. Motivation, yeah. some kind of very happy image to motivate the people. Yeah. Don't, so they are not, not depressed. <laughs> Something very, okay, so more image. Image than text. Because motivation could be done also with the message, but it really, uh, with the text, uh, but it really um, is important what you would, what would be the uh, content of the text, what, what would be written on the mask. And Nadia, do you have I'm any... thinking more of sticking to text right now, because I really like with the message of like, help me help you. I don't know exactly how I would, mm -hmm. Like, I think I would need way more time to think how it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like visually it's difficult. Like, how do you put that into the picture? Like it's very, it uh, depends on the context. So I think I would stay with the text. Alenka, can you explain why you are, why, why you would like, why you would prefer image instead of text? Uh, <laughs> because that's, that's what I do in my life, that I communicate visually. Um, also text is a visual part of visual communication. Yeah, but, uh, it depends on what kind of font you would use, what kind I of- I think in this, in this uh, case, like what I want to, to communicate, it might uh, be better to combine words and some symbols uh, because AI, yeah, like it's not really, I, I have pro troubles, uh, trouble to form formulate it in, uh, in in this message, although I did, but I'm not very satisfied with it. So I, I would not, because yeah, this message sounds uh, very cliche. Banal, ban cliche, yes. Uh -huh. And I don't, I'm not really like a person who likes uh, t-shirts with statements and stuff like that. So, I'm more curious in, in whether I can find some visual um, metaphor that would be able to communicate this emotion. Because for me, it's more about uh, this emotion that I, I feel and I want this other group of people to, to understand this emotion. And that might be easier to communicate just visually or, or with the help of some visual symbols and not only words. I'm asking because I have prepared in this presentation different like examples how what I found it was really quick research what people are buying or using what kind of images if text images or image other images on their masks so these are like examples of really banal and cliche text. mostly you you can actually buy these online or there are a lot of lot of e-shops where you can order this kind of messages uh, in the form of text. You can have a look. I hate mask, for example, and please stand back. I'm not sick, but you are. Uh, eat, sleep, isolate, repeat, and which are actually these all these sentences or these texts. Mm. You can you can see 
most of them they're they're different. They're dif they are different fonts. Some of them are blue. Some of them white. Some of them some of them are black. So you can still use text, but with dif different background, different uh, font, etc. So you can still work with it as, as a visual um, text as a visual symbol. But these are quite banal. I just chose them to just show you that most of them, what I found was really banal, not really interesting. Oh, these are examples how to express something without the text, just with the image. Or no, there are examples of really crazy ideas like how to change the mask, how to use protection with some <laughs> different thing. Uh, yeah, everyone. All of us, I think, were creating at the beginning of Corona virus um, uh, situation. We're, hey, we all, all of us had crazy ideas how to like reflect this this situation. I'm sure you also had some ideas <laughs> how to protect your uh, self. And these three uh, examples. Uh, I found quite interesting, more interesting than the other ones, which are really cliche. These, these are more interesting. So the first one is, if you can read this, you are too close, which is already saying something and helping like people to be in a, in a distance, which is needed now these, these days. So, or the, the one below, which is reflecting uh, topics related to racism, for example. Also, the virus is not the only problem, but it's something else we should talk about, which is also a problem. Or, or the other one, don't pull a face. Yeah, this is an example of how it can be, the design can um, be defined by the medium. So the person who designed this mask or the text were, was playing with this, was uh, changing the shape of the text. So now in this part of the workshop, we will try to uh, visualize the message. So we will have like 45 minutes around or 40, 40 45 minutes now. Uh, we will try to, uh, we'll try to visualize what you, what you just uh, put here, what, what kind of messages you have. So just try to think about what, what, how you will visualize it. And maybe first 10 minutes, all of us can take, uh, all of us can work individually. So we, will, we can start now thinking, all of us, I mean, you, you three, three of you. And uh, I will help you. If you have some questions, I can still help you. I will, I'm still here, I can, uh, jump into your process and and help you to find some uh, visual. Uh, and after that, after these ten minutes, we can uh, you can start sharing your screens. What you are so you can show us what you are working on. What you so you we see visually what you are working on. Is it okay? Mm -hmm. Um. Jeff and uh, Nadia, is it okay? Yes, absolutely. Sorry, my phone was ringing at some point and I didn't know it's not on mute. <laughs> so you, uh, both of you, Jeff and Nadia, you have the images of the masks, right? Uh, I see that, yes, you shared some, so I'll just have to download it, choose yeah, one. Download it and use it as a, for your prototyping and probably you have Photoshop or something where you can and I, I don't know what, what uh, platform you will use. It's up to you, what you are used to. And Jeff. Sorry, uh, uh, where can I download the uh, images of the mask? The picture? Still don't have Hello, can you see me? Yeah. Uh, you are asking where you can download uh, these images? Yes. Uh, uh, I can share a link. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, 
So here uh, is a link to Google Drive. Oh. And uh, I think it's in inputs uh, uh, folder. It's in inputs and they're white and black masks. These two kinds, what I showed you in, in the presentation. You can choose oh. what you like. Yes, no, I can see it. Thank you very much. Okay. Yeah. And are you familiar familiar with uh, graphic design programs, or yeah. you have Photoshop Illustrator or something else? I mean, it's up to you what you will use. Yes, uh, I can do it. Yeah. No okay. Yeah. If you have any problems, just tell us. Tell me, I will okay. help. You. Thank you. So, um, if you if you feel uncomfortable while you are trying to, or, or if you are uncomfortable with, while you are starting <laughs> your creative process, you can uh, turn off your camera for now, or you can still go back to us. I mean, don't leave the meeting. Of <laughs> <laughs> so we don't lose you, but um, you can turn off your video. You can stop your video for now and just communicate with us. I might do it for a moment. You want to <laughs> peace and quiet for this 10, oh, let's say it's 10 minutes okay for a start for you just to start and yeah. Or yeah. You, can, you can mute yourself, you can turn off the camera. I, uh, I just changed my message if that's still okay. It's okay. <laughs> I changed it to that's the process. So, sorry. It's the, that's okay if you change in certain point in the process you realize the message is not clear it's still you find a better one it's still okay to change it but don't change it all the time because oh yeah <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. be patient bear with us because mm -hmm. yeah. i realized that i want to communicate like advocate for uh, this group of people who are still uh, concerned and still wearing masks to the others who are not like please uh, tolerate tolerate us and bear with us that's very clear now that's mm. good <laughs> took me a while <laughs> Sometimes it takes a week for me to create a message really so it's clear for everyone two hours are not much. <laughs> you can turn on music if you like. <laughs> <laughs> it's just imagine you are alone and you are designing something by your own and we are not here for now yeah i'm already used to uh, working in front of the camera in some way i i have to um, admit that i already spent several zoom calls uh that I like, while I was uh, having a Zoom call, I I was still working on something in in Photoshop. <laughs> Multitasking. Yeah. yeah, I'm used to it also. Mm. Mm. So we are now creating a kind of a mock-up. It's a mock-up, yes. Uh -huh mock-up first and after the workshop we, i will explain you how you can actually make your own prototype physically mm -hmm. or maybe if you like i can show you now mm -hmm. I'll just it's okay i will just uh, share my desktop again with you mm -hmm. i will show you 
what I think would be okay and quite easy for you, how, how you could uh, make your own mask at home. You can get printable heat transfer, which is a paper you can put in your inkjet. I don't know if you have a call printer. I do. Uh, in these times <laughs> when we don't go so much outside and print offices and we don't want to socialize so much, it's good to have one at home. Yeah. Do you have, uh, Jeff, Nadia, do you have a color printer? Is it available? Yeah. I don't have a printer at all, so I would need to figure I out. Have, uh, we have color printer in, in the school. I can use it there. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. Yeah, but it's not a problem to go somewhere to print it out. Exactly. Get, is it, um, have you ever heard about this printable heat transfer papers? You can print image on and then you can cut it oh. out and iron it on t-shirts. Mostly people use it for t-shirts, but we can use it on masks. Yes. If you open, I open this link, this is an example, and this is a, you can see it here. <laughs> like how it could look like it is one brand silhouette, but there are a lot of brands. You can order it online, you can go to a shop, to to office shop and buy it there. I, I don't think it's a problem to get it in Germany or in Netherlands. Yeah, yeah it shouldn't be. Okay. It, yeah. You just put it or just... Yeah, I think this is a good print way. It out. <laughs> you can print it out, cut it, <laughs> cut it out and iron it. Ah, yes. Iron it on your mask. Okay. I'm, it's, Actually, good that I'm showing you this now because you can now start thinking if whether you use the first type, which is ergo is ergonomic type of mask, or the second one, which is folded. I use the second. Oh, this one. Because the shape mm -hmm. uh, image can change in, in when you open the second one. The what I'm showing you now, but it's up to you, of course. Just think about it medium also, the mask. So this is how you could actually do it at home <laughs> with yourself. Stop my screen share now again. Okay. And I will be quiet for a while so I'm not <laughs> interrupting you so much.
If you want, I can uh, share screen for a second. Mm -hmm. Although it's still not <laughs> not there, but I don't know if you want to follow. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. You can start actually thinking about how you would wear, imagine like how you would wear the mask uh, in your, the target group. Like imagine you are going with the mask to, and you are facing the people from this target group, your target group, and just imagine how they would react. Maybe sometimes it helps in, in this process of visualization. Mm. Try to imagine if it would be clear for them, if they would understand what you, your message, what you think. Yeah. With the image, uh, you are. Okay, maybe for. I can explain <laughs> what I have here. Uh, because I had the message "Be patient, bear with us." Uh, I am trying to make. I just use a, an, an icon of uh, folded hands. Because I, I was thinking of, of the of the emoji uh, with the raised hands, and uh, like, but we don't I, I, we don't see your screen. Are you sharing now? Yes. Yes, I am. And what do you see? Do you, do you other? I like, I do you see Lenka's screen? I just stopped because uh, yes, I, I saw the hands. falling hands in the black mask, so I did see that. Uh, I have also seen that. Back there, I just wanted to explain that just it's not uh, finished or anything. I just used uh, this icon because I thought of uh, redoing, uh, reshaping the the icon, and I like this uh, triangular shape that it's creating. Uh, and uh, maybe I can just uh, use uh, a, a tool here to kind of explain what I wanted to do. This I didn't see your screen is interesting. Hmm? I didn't see your screen. Okay, but okay, I'll just show you with my mouse cursor that um, I wanted to create a shape that would go like a line from up to the center and then split in two lines. Uh, similar to the peace sign, but as well, it uh, should be uh, this uh, namaste kind of sign. Uh, mm -hmm. And then I would place uh, the, the, the word bear uh, on this le left top side, uh, wheat on the right, uh, and uh, uh, us on the bottom. Does, do you understand what I mean? Yes. Uh, yeah. So, uh, that was just something I started. Uh, it looks better on my sketch on my paper here, not in the here. You're, you're sketching on paper, not not directly on desktop. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. uh, but of course, it's just like one second of working. So, and first idea. Mm -hmm. I have sent my uh, mask in the chat window. Can, can you see? It? So... Yeah. Mm -hmm. I see that. Yes, I think. But maybe you maybe you should uh, also screen share. So okay, I try see that uh, also on or I can show it. But it's it's easier when you share your screen. Okay, you... I try one more. So, Nor, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. Yes, I have a text on the mask. Uh, I find it it's hard for me to make a critical way to show my message. I don't know how to um, show my message in a critical way. So mm -hmm. it it was a positive way, maybe not 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 past the. <laughs> The, the title of our critical graphic design or 
something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I want to make a uh, make a relationship between the mask and the difficult. So I write this text. Yeah. It means when people don't wear the mask, that means the day the difficult disappear. Only problem I see here, if I may say, is that yeah. the it's quite close to the to the edge. So imagine you wear it, and usually when you wear the mask, I don't have it right here, but it's uh, more tight here, uh, more open here at this part. So I need to uh, make it more. Will not be. I think the edges of the text will not be visible at this part. Uh. Maybe just uh, make it uh, smaller or not so wide. The text is, I think, too wide. Okay, uh, I know, but I'm not so good at the software, so maybe it's uh, I can't like so. And yeah, um, Lenka, I I don't see your screen shares. I don't know why. You can't see mine. I see the image you sent. Um, I downloaded the image um, yeah. from but the chat. Screen share now. you can't see. No, but I can't see your screen. screen. I, I, I can see it. So I think it's probably the window is uh, lost somewhere in, in between your two screens because you have two monitors, right? You told me. Oh, oh I see that now. Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> oh, I make it small. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Blanca. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, that's exactly what I meant. Yeah, not to make it so wide. Mm -hmm. I will just uh, grab my uh, uh, mask, okay, physically. I, I will go, I didn't, I don't have it here on my table, but uh, just give me a second. I will come back in, in a minute and I bring it here, okay? The same one as Jeff is working with. Mm -hmm. Good. Somebody has birds chirping in the background. Sorry? I feel like somebody has birds chirping on the background. I think it's me. That's nice. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's, uh, it's funny that you can hear it. So. <laughs> <laughs> nice part of the nature in the space. Yes. So it, it's, it's funny, right? Like we are meeting in a digital space and interacting with each other but we still have peace of nature there <laughs> exactly yes <laughs> yeah i have my balcony opened so that's why that's good And do you also hear uh, the sounds from uh, construction from construction workers? No, not really. I just heard the birds chirping. That's interesting. Because <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, that's interesting. <laughs> There are something wrong with my with my computer. It shut down automatically. <laughs> yeah, I see that you uh, left and then came back. <laughs> I don't know why it were it shut down. Yeah, it happens sometimes. Mm. 
I'm back. <laughs> How are you progressing, Nadia? Yeah, my computer <laughs> has something wrong. It's shut down automatically. <laughs> that happens sometimes. <laughs> Okay. I'm understanding that I need probably some like uh, visuals to it because I did also choose the foldable um, mask and it would be interesting to, but it's very. Your messages. Help me help you. Yes, help me help. Like I, I he wants to work with text more because you didn't know how to, um, what kind of symbol you would choose to say help. <laughs> Basically, yes. But right now it's all text. Do you have some sketches or something visual that we could have a look at? Yes, like I did just a moment. I can share because I started Just thinking of also what I had as where's the zoom thing? Yes, uh, share screen. Choose this. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay. So I thought a little bit of like to maybe putting this text of like help me help you like under there when printing mm -hmm. like that uh that it's like when you put it on then it like opens up and then i thought of maybe like somehow with like a, a handshake something to add that it's like this mutual agreement but yeah i feel like i will need a little bit more time to in the end to work it through so maybe if you have some helpful ideas i'm open to it <laughs> so you wanted to hide something in inside the mask and when you no yes i thought so that it would be interesting that it will be like coming from out of there but yeah i mean when it's folded you know some people wear actually the mask like here like this yeah. They don't have it uh, really on their nose the all whole the whole time. They're waiting until some people appear and then they put it up on the on their nose. Maybe this is interesting to work with also. Yes, but it is. In the Netherlands, you said no. There are not so many people wearing it. So yes, I think because the government maybe they have that like here. Oh, okay. In Slovakia, yes. we wear it like this. No one is on the street. We have the mask like, like this just yeah. prepared if someone appears and we quickly put it up okay <laughs> so yeah that's weird to me honestly because i don't really understand why because the whole purpose of the mask is that you put it on and you don't touch it ever and you only touch it from these things once you take it off and then having it like back and forth this is somewhere where i'm like yeah, touching it is maybe problem but sometimes you really need to breathe the air fresh air and if you yes. wear it and no one is around you like for 10 meters or 20 meters yeah. then that's it's no 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 i don't i don't see the uh reason why we should wear it because no one is appearing but try to think about the medium the mask like you can uh put help me or i mean this this mask is different yeah than on your message but on your on your image 
but uh, you can put text somewhere and it, it can change have one position the text helped me like this and when you open it it can change into something else yeah help you the second yeah. one the second part help you help me is one, mm -hmm. one fa like face one when you have it like this it's help me when you open it something yeah. else here like the second part can appear later when you open it actually yeah that's Just good maybe think about it like this i think that's that's something what i also had in mind and then maybe adding some visuals as well but it can be also pretty powerful to just keep it with the text by saying can you again share your screen can you can you show me again oh, it disappeared yeah because yeah i just put it here and started thinking and then i was trying to look for some already existing vector that I have on my computer, etc., to see maybe with some visuals, but I don't. Uh, I don't know if it's necessary to combine. Well, I think it's easier to choose text or the image. The hands with the text, they don't, the hands don't help the text so much. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> One thing, and... Um, I don't see in this help you help me help you. I don't see what you wanted to say actually that we should help each other. It's still not clear. If yeah. you help me help you, or if you said help me and I will help you, that means already that we should help each other. That is, it's interact. It should be interactive. All of us should help each other. But if you just say help me help you, mm -hmm. it's still not clear. Yeah. This is Thing when you use text you have to really 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 be careful what you write <laughs> if it will be help me and i will help you or something like that then it will be more clear yeah and second part and i will help you this could be like help me in this when you wear it like this people would see only the first part like help me and when you mm -hmm. open it and put it on your nose the second part would appear and I will help you would appear after that. Yeah. Maybe it's, it's uh, also um, a possible possibility how, how you could play with the medium also with this opening, closing. People are not wearing, are wearing the mask. Um, yeah, I agree. But then it, uh, you have to work also with the other image of the yeah. mask. Oh, open. The open one. Yeah. This is the closed one. And then, which is, is visible when you don't wear it on your nose. And when you wear it on your nose, it, it's, it's the second one. Yeah. And um, it's opened. Don't I will do that. Sure. So, oh, maybe uh, what I would suggest you to open also the second one, the white. A2, I think, is the name of the file. White A2, um, the second one, which is opened, and try to put the sentence there. Mm -hmm. Maybe maybe put it on your on the opened version first. Okay. Or put it uh, next to each other so you can uh, see more clearly which part of the text you would hide inside the faults because after that if you if you will iron it if you would if when you will iron it on your mask at home or somewhere else or after the workshop you have to open it and then iron it yeah exactly, find yeah, exactly of where you would put the second part of the text yeah i think it will be also like for, yeah to to then I think that's where it starts to come to life when you can actually do a little bit of of, of uh, pre-totyping with it and and then iron it there and then see if it actually works or not. Because yeah. right now I think that's where I'm a little bit like I can imagine it. But your own mask there. Mm -hmm. Just imagine it, 
that's, I mean, during this workshop, we can do anything more, just mock us. <laughs> yeah. About what we, how we would uh, design it and, and plan the implementation and the production. Yeah, of course. The workshop is more about the start of the project than really like finishing the whole prototype. It's not easy to, to do it so in so quickly. Yeah. Uh, Lenka, yes. are you are you using the the first the, the ergonomic mask or the uh, second? Yes, the first one. Yeah, yeah, because I wanted uh, to to create this geometric shape and it's uh, in a it's not straight. It would it yeah it would not make sense to use the folds. Folds are great for texts. Like you can put layers, you can put something inside, you can hide. Uh, That's what I meant. Just try to think about the medium, which one you will use, because it depends on the style, on the design you, you, you are working with. So, Jeff, are you, how, how are you? Uh, I think if, if, only, if we only use the uh, text, maybe the economic one is better to, to see or better to see than the fold one. Yeah, because it's deformed. The text, if you put it like, if you yeah. print it on, on, the mat, on, on the fabric and then you put it on your nose, it will, it can uh, yeah. change the shape. It can not be so visible. Yeah. And it's true. Okay. But still you can play like, like Nadia. Nadia's idea is, mm -hmm. Maybe she will hide some part of the text inside, and it will be. It, it, she will, she will maybe play uh, with with the shape of the mask as an advantage. She will take it as an advantage that it's actually changing the shape. Uh, you know? So you can you can use it, or you can uh, use the changing of the shape for your visualization of your message. Yeah. If you are afraid that your text will be deformed mm. while using it you can still change uh, the, the, the you can change replace it with the ergonomic one it's up to you no my message is not something interesting with the world uh, I think this process may be not necessary mm -hmm. But you actually use the word disappear in your uh, in, the, yeah. in the text. So it, I also don't know if you the, the message is, is very locally or not because I don't know how to speak this mean in a locally English way. <laughs> and did I really tra transfer my 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 means to others? So this this will be a problem for me. Maybe it can be, the text can be make more better or <laughs> I don't know. How but do maybe because you are not uh, so um, uh, great with text or you are afraid that it will be not clear, maybe just use image, not the hand but maybe because for at the start you when you were explaining your message you wanted actually to show people something some some kind of motivation with with the help of image yeah. something very happy and positive and don't worry it will be better and and but it's not really clear from this text uh. it's it's more <laughs> the opposite, I would say, because the day I disappear, the day the difficulties disappear, it's really pessimistic. Uh, you know I, mean? I miss the mask, so I want to make this. Ah, of 
okay, the day the mask disappears. Yeah, and the day the difficult the day disappears. Not me, yes, <laughs> it was. Yeah, because it's not clear. Oh, uh, I understand now. It's not, it was not clear that actually the mask is saying that, but uh, it's more like you are saying that, you, Jeff. Uh, okay. you, you know what I mean? What yeah. I mean? So I, I, I need to change I to the mask. The day the mask disappears, the day the difficulties disappear. Uh -huh. It's too long or the note, maybe in a mask so, so long and text uh, is hard to leave, hard to to read or note. I'm just thinking how to how to well, maybe some different text should be there, not this one. Uh, same thing. I'm just thinking about how I could help you. You know, if you would say, if you were me, you still need me or something like this. If you wear me, you... As a mask. Uh, um, if you wear me... You will. Can you can you see see it again? I'm not. I'm just thinking about like if it's okay. Uh, just give me a second. Okay. Maybe if you would just put on the mask text like, uh, don't worry, you will not wear me your whole life or something like that, you know? Oh, because you really want to express something positive. You want to give people hope that it will not last forever. Yeah. That's what you want to say, right? <laughs> yes. So like I this try to make the pass. relationship between the mask and the coronavirus so i write this but what you said is also a very good uh, suggestion like like if you say if you put on the mask like don't worry you will not wear me your oh. whole life. then someone you are facing and is reading this message will get it like okay it's something positive okay oof, okay it will not be forever <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> not so funny what I just said. Like, don't worry, you will not wear me the whole life. Or yeah. just temporary, or I don't know how to say that. I think Sometimes. that's a good phrase mm. of like, this too shall pass. Mm -hmm. Like this saying, let, let nothing is temporary, this too shall pass. Yes. Yeah, that's usually what I used to calm, calm myself da down if something's going on. Uh -huh. I just tell to myself that nothing lasts forever. Nothing lasts forever. <laughs> also this mask. <laughs> yeah, also this mask shall pass. Or um, <laughs> if it's not made of plastic. <laughs> that's why I chose cotton. Yes. Workshops. <laughs> oh. mm. Maybe change the text and it will be enough. And you don't even need the hand there. It's not necessary to use the image yeah. of the hand like this. Like this is like protest. It's the image of like symbol for protests. Or this is a symbol for pro pro protests. Mm. Yeah. But you don't really need it. Yeah. It will not help to communicate your message. No. Okay. Maybe because the text will be enough. Okay. Strong if it's how did you say Lenka? What? how what was it again but what what do you mean pass everything will pass how is it yeah, uh, uh, proper english i don't know <laughs> this this will too pass or... no i said on phrases the... this too shall pass but you said something yeah. else yeah or nothing lasts forever but yeah it's defense 
and from which angle you want to mm-hmm. yeah address it can you jeff mm-hmm. change it just try to put it in, word. in the chat uh put in my word this phrase can you try to change the phrase or use the one that Nadja said or Lenka or make your own one like you have the same meaning oh uh, i need to think about it everything should pass everything will pass uh, i'm not here forever and or something like that or, mm. the, or one day i will leave you <laughs> oh. <laughs> i don't know one day i will be gone <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's funny it's uh, funny when it has like more meanings it's always always good these metaphors one day i will be gone that's all <laughs> <That's great. laughs> <Go? laughs> it, it has more layers because it's not only about the mask it's also about myself yeah yeah, yeah. i will be gone as well yeah exactly Jeff, that's okay. One day I will be gone. <laughs> that's great. I want to have this mask. Please send this? send send that out. Be gone, right? I don't know how to. Workshop. <laughs> be gone. We can actually print uh, for all of us these masks. <laughs> I would make my own. I would do it for you, and if you if you will be interested. You can uh, and have more possibilities. You can print also for us. I would wear this one. <laughs> That's so funny. Do. Okay, we have only ten minutes left. Official. Yeah. It's strict, so we really have to finish in ten minutes, right? Mm-hmm. That's true because there's uh, another workshop uh, and we need to clean the space mm-hmm. after. Okay, do, Nadia, do you have something to show us and Lenka something on your desktop i just put those two together and quickly started but i haven't played around with the text yet i can quickly show but i started thinking about just going more into this separating this help me help you and then i and i will or something like this, but I think I will actually do a little bit of printing and play around with the actual physical thing. And then, uh, yes, yeah. mm-hmm. maybe I will even change the message because now I'm starting to get ideas. I wrote down a little bit of things and now I'm like, ah, this was good activation process. <laughs> Because what you just said, this uh, second one, which is will be hidden, it will be still visible. In yeah. This. You have to work with the real one. Yeah, not just yeah. the mm-hmm. I like this idea that the mask is uh, actually re- uh, answering <laughs> or that it's, there is this dialogue. Yeah. Well, Do you have Lenka something? Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. I can. I can. Anything? Share. Just yeah, I can share screen. Uh-huh. And show, uh, what I have now at the moment. Uh, so uh. I I started with this uh, icon, but the, uh, I I wanted to make it different to create this kind of. Mm, yeah, geometric uh, shape. So, but I wanted to re- reduce the the actual symbol to very simple lines, and then I started playing like with this message bear with us and uh, placing it uh, around it, and uh, then I just I don't know just experiments like whether the text would work on the hands or not. Then I realized that actually bear 
and fear are very visually similar uh, words, but of course, I don't want to communicate fear with us <laughs> or anything like that. You know, like you while, <laughs> while you are sketching, then these kind of ideas occur and they... Yeah. they That's a part of the process. Yeah, they, they are usually pointless, but at least I had a little bit of laugh. <laughs> with you know, that's exactly, it's actually good that you are saying this because that's the reason why I always say to my students and even if I work or think about some project or I, during my creative process, it's good to go back to the message. Mm. If you get lost or, or you, because this is, typical for the creative process. You start doing something creative and just ideas appear and they maybe sometimes put you in, in, in ways that you don't want to end up and we end where you don't want to end. And it's always good to go back to the sentence, to the message. That's why I wanted also you to put it down to, into in words. That's why I created a sheet where yeah. we messages. So you always have a backup. You go back and you read it again. Oh, is it clear what I wanted to say? Is this visualize, visualizing the my message? Or oh, oh, it, it, it's, it's, it's gone somewhere else. So but, uh, I'm thinking uh, also whether it would work without words. Mm -hmm. Of course, I will have to fine tune the, uh, the symbol. Without words, it has also more meanings, I would say. Like please, Corona virus. Like please. Uh, but, yeah, but the fact that I'm wearing it on my mouth on yeah. in the streets, then it's a, a clear signal to the other people in the streets. And it's yeah, it's a, it's a, it's saying please, but yes, the I wonder how how would they interpret it? It would be more general, like oh, let's pray so the situation ends quickly and we live mm -hmm. finally like before and we have our life back yeah. but without the text it's more general yeah but what you wanted to say it's bear with us more like oh please um it's more you oriented it's not so general yeah. really yeah. specific message yeah on the first when i saw this for the first time the thing which is inside, it looks like arrow. Mm -hmm. It was so strong and I completely lost myself. I saw the arrow first and then I saw, oh yeah, it's a hand actually. <laughs> oh yes, now I see the, uh, the arrow. So, yeah. it's like in the middle. The, the fingers. <laughs> it's yeah. really, uh, mm. You put it in a symbol. It's not really, it doesn't look like hands. Like on the, when you go up, in the document you have the typical yeah this is more hands this looks like hands yeah but i mean i like the second one more what you what you created because it's more simple but the arrow is so strong now <laughs> inside mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, like once you see it you cannot unsee it <laughs> i i see it now maybe if mm. the arrow is so strong that it it maybe sometimes change the meaning or, or or it will confuse the viewer a little bit so the viewer can be thinking a little bit whether will it not, will not read the text there so so quickly or will not get the point so quickly mm. yeah maybe different shape yeah not arrow so it's like that oh shit <laughs> i don't i have to enlarge it uh, if it's like sometimes when we yeah, that looks weird and if yeah. I the whole... <laughs> with very simple the the symbol it's it will it will lose it it will not be so clear anymore yeah mm, no Yeah, I think it, it's just like these things usually take uh, much longer time to yes. play with it and iterate. And and in the end, uh, I, I'm sure it can be transformed into a nice um, message. But I think just you need just to work more uh, on changing the arrow or 
so it doesn't look like an, an arrow anymore or more like hands mm -hmm. and the text is okay like this bear with us mm -hmm. three zones it's much better than the other versions mm -hmm. when you put the text inside hands it's not so visible anymore yeah yeah, okay. yeah i agree but what I thought uh, that actually I could, uh, I don't have to print this, that I could be able to also just uh, use a white uh, marker. Mm -hmm. I have a white marker that uh, works, that is very uh, visible on a black uh, textile. Why not? Ooh. It was just an idea for you. So if you have a complicated image, and you are not uh, so familiar with other techniques, you can just print it on this special paper you can iron. But of course, you can you can choose some other technique. OK, so uh, how, how do we proceed? Uh, so should we then, like, because the time is uh, up. Yeah, we're running out. So do you want us to? like work on it later and uh, send it to you? Yes, sure. I mean, this yeah, was yeah. a good start. Did you like it, Nadia and Jeff? Do you want to continue working on it at home, alone, and to finish? <laughs> yes, it was fun. I can't finish it today, but I can finish it. Uh... You have to finish it today. I mean, yeah. it would be great if you could con continue with your prototyping and uh, try to get the real mask uh, have and, 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 and try to think if it's working on the mask, how you could change it, or just you can use this uh, technique I was proposing to you to get this special paper printed on this paper and iron it. We can still be in contact. We can exchange our emails. I can help you with your finalization, with the prototyping and with the implementation. And the best thing would be if you really like print it on your mask, wear it, and go to this target group and uh, yeah. like, like show to the people what you think visually with the help of the mask and ask someone, a friend to take pictures of you doing that. And I would really be happy if I could write an article and put it on criticaldaily.org as an output of this workshop. And I would make a promo of this action and these projects of you because it's worth it's worth it and it's worth you the time that you put inside this project and it will be it will be great if it wouldn't finish today in this one mm -hmm. last minute what do you think about it yeah sure interesting <laughs> and i will show it this also I, I will make promo i will i can share then link uh, i can share this a post on critical daily also on social sites if you are okay with that Mm -hmm. Are you okay if I mention you, your names there in the text that you are authors? Of course, I. I oh, no. <laughs> that would be nice. Someone, someone <laughs> would not be happy. I mean, someone would not like that. But um, yeah, we will exchange emails, right? Uh, it's already yeah. in the chat. Yeah, so you have out. all the emails. Yeah. Okay. Good. So for start, I think it was, I hope it was interesting for you. If you maybe something new <laughs> or just try it, something new. Yeah, thank you so much. I hope we'll stay, be in contact and we'll finish it together. I will help you. You, you also, Katka, maybe also put your email address there. That yeah. They can mm -hmm. yeah. uh, maybe message you if, during the creative process. Yeah, sure. Yeah, and I think it was fun. A nice uh, Saturday afternoon <laughs> and uh, thank you guys for joining and participating and working with us and sharing your screen and, uh, and your ideas. And thank you Lenka that you also were thank part you. of it. <laughs> yeah. with your own mock-up. <laughs> no. I'm, I'm a graphic designer, I, I have background in graphic design so it would be actually a sin not to join. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay, so, thank you guys. Also. Thank you.
Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Have a nice uh, rest of the day and uh, follow our other events if you're curious. And we also will have a party in the evening. So yeah. you can follow our yes. social media to get uh, more uh, information about this. It will be online, a live coding party. Very cool. Yeah.